Item number, SCP-876, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures, SCP-876-1 through SCP-876-83, excluding SCP-876-43 and SCP-876-61, known collectively as Group A, are to be kept in a standard large storage container with two locks. Access to one key is enabled by level two and higher personnel. The second is only available to level three or higher personnel to prevent accidental abuse. Information as to the location of SCP-876-84 through SCP-876-121, SCP-876-43, and SCP-876-61 known collectively as Group B, is only accessible to level 4 or higher. Class B amnestic must be given when business regarding Group B is complete. Each bottle in Group B must have its own containment cell, with individual keys. The containment site has 1.5 meter thick walls of lead. All bottles, whether Group A or Group B, must have their numbers indicated. Labels cannot be placed on the bottles. Description SCP-876 is a group of traditional pill bottles, labeled Data Expunged. The bottles are visually identical. If one is damaged, relabeled, or otherwise altered, it will revert to the usual form in seconds. If any of the containers becomes empty, one capsule pill will appear inside of it. The pill will be two different colors, but the coloration is always the same for each bottle. For example, SCP-876-2 always forms red and red samples. Colors observed are red, transparent, orange, blue, green, white, black, violet, yellow, gray, and... When one pill is swallowed, no ill effects are observed. When a second pill is swallowed, however, an unknown procedure instantaneously converts all atoms of one element in the user's body to that of another, determined by the colors of the pills and the order ingested. This usually causes a catastrophic reaction. See Experiment Log 876. The second pill will cause this effect regardless of time elapsed. For transparent capsules, a small sample of the element in question can be observed inside, accepting radioactive elements. In those cases, there is no sample. Analysis has shown the colors to follow a simple pattern. If the atomic number, number of protons, for the corresponding element is divided by 11, and the remainder taken, one can match up the quotient and the remainder to two colors. For example, a remainder of six will invariably have a purple-sided pill. Therefore, purple means six. Refer to the table to determine which number means which color. Data table expunged. Unfortunately, a red and white pill is indistinguishable from a white and red pill. For this reason, it must be recorded which of the bottles the pill came from. When replacement occurs, the new molecules are usually highly unstable. Spontaneous combustion is common. For combinations that avoid this problem, nitrogen to phosphorus, for example, death is immediate due to complete body chemistry failure. In rare cases, the effects are beneficial, but this is always because of the replacement of elemental toxins. The newly formed element always has the most stable number of neutrons. Uranium extracted from test subject cadavers is entirely depleted. Addendum Experiment Log 876 Experiment Log 876-A1 Date Procedure D-Class personnel instructed to swallow one pill from SCP-876-1 Hydrogen, followed by one from SCP-876-2, Helium. 
Results. Instant explosive decompression, spreading mass amounts of dust. No organic material discovered in the debris, but small amounts of graphite and found. Experiment Log 876A2. Date. Procedure. D-Class personnel instructed to swallow one pill from SCP-876-2. Helium. Followed by one from SCP-876-1. Hydrogen. Results. No effect. Experiment Log 876-A3. Date. Procedure. D-Class personnel instructed to swallow one pill from SCP-876-18. Argon. Followed by one from SCP-876-1. Hydrogen. Results. Subject lapsed into a coughing fit. Hydrogen content of surrounding air found to be increased post-experiment. Notes. It apparently treats the contents of the victim's lungs as part of the body. Dr. Experiment Log 876-A4. Date. Procedure. D-Class personnel instructed to swallow a small steel ball bearing. Following that, D-Class was instructed to swallow one pill from SCP-876-26. Iron. Followed by one from SCP-876-79. Gold. Results. Subject immediately collapsed and expired, as expected. A dissection of the stomach revealed the steel ball to have converted into a gold-colored ball. Notes. This also works for the stomach contents. Dr. Experiment Log 876A5 Date Procedure 1 D-Class personnel anesthetized and the stomach cut open. One SCP-876-1 pill Hydrogen, added to the stomach, and observed. Result 1. The pill did not dissolve in stomach acids. Procedure 2. Robotic arm used to lift SCP-876-2, helium pill, and insert it into D-Class's stomach. High-speed camera used for observation. Result 2. Both pills disappeared approximately 0.01 seconds before conversion and the resulting explosive decompression. Experiment Log 876-A6 Date Procedure Pill extracted from SCP-876-1 Hydrogen, then bisected with a laser. Results Small puff of yellow flames Signaling a reaction between hydrogen and oxygen. Experiment Log 876-A7 Date Procedure Pill extracted from SCP-876-92 Uranium Then bisected with a laser. Results Geiger counter detected no amount of uranium in the pill. Notes Why does it only do this for radioactive elements? Look into it. Dr. Experiment Log 876A8 Procedure One half of pill used in Experiment 876A6 welded to one half of pill used in 876A7. Resulting capsule is similar in appearance to pills from SCP-876 and SCP-876. D-Class personnel instructed to swallow the gold ball from 876-A4, followed by a capsule from SCP-876-79, gold, and then the new pill. Results. D-Class doubled over in pain and promptly fell unconscious. Geiger counters detected a concentrated source of radioactivity inside D-Class, suggesting data expunged. Notes. That's certainly interesting. The mechanisms must be slightly different. Dr. Experiment Log 876A9 Procedure One pill from SCP-87640, Zirconium, 
and one from SCP-87680, Mercury, placed side by side, colors aligned. Capsules are visually identical, colors red and red. both pills placed under a microscope. Results. Despite extensive analysis, no difference between the pills could be visually determined. Identities of pills were not recorded. Notes. Pay attention to which one is which next time. Dr. Experiment Log 876A10. Procedure 1. Unidentified pills from Experiment 876A9 were weighed. Result 1. Significant discrepancy in mass. This is attributed to a difference in density of the contents. Procedure 2. Mercury zirconium amalgam administered to D-class. Heavier pill administered, followed by lighter pill. D-class then sedated and stomach dissected to retrieve amalgam. Result 2. Amalgam changed into a lump of zirconium. Experiment Log 876A11 Procedure One pill each from SCP-87671, Lutetium, SCP-87675, Rhenium, SCP-87637, Rubidium, SCP-87657, Lanthanum, SCP-87662, Samarium, SCP-87678, Platinum, SCP-87664, Gadolinium, SCP-87649, Indium, SCP-87672, Hafnium, SCP-87676, Osmium, SCP-87660, Neodymium, SCP-87648, Cadmium, and SCP-87623, Vanadium, are extracted and bisected with a laser. Result. The samples of Lutetium, Rhenium, Rubidium, and Lanthanum are pure LU-175, RE-185, RB-85, and LA-139. The platinum sample showed no PT-190, and the samarium sample showed no SM-147, but contains the less radioactive SM-148, as well as other naturally occurring isotopes. All other samples are consistent with terrestrial composition. Notes. Apparently, there is an upper limit to which the pills define an isotope to be radioactive, currently estimated to be 1,013 years. Doctor. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-875, War Criminals, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.